It's not as stupid as it sounds, okay? It I love it when they put the whole red tomato. You can just bloop right into the garbage where it belongs. Plus it doesn't get its, you know, sticky booger tomato come all over everything. I posted that back in 2017 and for two years I've been thinking of ways to get tomatoes out of my salad and out of my life faster. Solution one is to just not put little red shit bombs filled with bitter garbage in my goddamn salads. Fucking yucky. Yeah, but Michael, I like tomatoes. Yeah, well, some people like not vaccinating their kids. It's, it's whatever. So what am I gonna do? Pick tomatoes out of my salad for the rest of my goddamn life? No, that's a... It's a silly, childish solution. No, what I did was build a robot that stabs them with a giant metal spike. <laughs> you think your ideas are stupid just because I made a video on them? You haven't seen shit. I'm Elon Musk of bad ideas if Elon Musk was a three foot tall Filipino and dumb. Before we can think about detecting the tomatoes, we have to first figure out how to move a big ass metal spike from point A to point B really precisely so that when we do detect them, we're able to stab the ever living shit out of them. If it looks familiar, that's because it's the corpse of my very first 3D printer that I made a video about way back when I used to cut my hair apparently. But I rebuilt it so that now instead of a 3D printer extruder, it has a big ass metal piston spike. Big ass metal piston spike. Big metal piston spike. Big metal piston spike. I am so excited about this because it has enough power to go clean through my hand if I'm not careful. And I'm using it to stab tomatoes. How has no one stopped me from making YouTube videos? But Michael, I hear you ask, aren't 3D printers for 3D printing objects? How are you even gonna get that thing to move? I could send it some special instructions and it won't be able to tell the difference between uh, 3D printing an object and uh, skewering a disgusting fucking tomato. Now for the stabbing, I hijacked the fan signal on the 3D printer board itself. So now when I send the command to turn on a fan from my computer, instead of turning on a fan, big metal piston spike. God, that's scary. You know, I've never actually seen this stab anything before. So I, I grabbed this apple from the kitchen just to test out the spike power. Uh, wow, it's really uncomfortable putting my hand under there. I don't like that. Fuck. <laughs> that worked way better than I thought it would. And it's, it's picked it up. It fucking picked it up. As amazing as this is, I was still positioning and triggering the spike manually from my computer. That's doo-doo. Hopefully with some fancy computer vision code, we'll be able to detect all these bitter red landmines in my salad and it'll automatically position the spike over them and pluck them out with the might of Zeus. All right, now we have to detect the exact positions of tomatoes within a salad or else the big metal piston spike machine that we built is gonna be useless. To get a video feed, I flex taped this webcam to a tripod to stare at the salad at all times Saying these things out loud makes me sad. I'm gonna go kind of fast because it's like one or two or 3,000 lines of code and also that's... That's nerd shit. Here's the video from the webcam, pretty boring. Okay, so then we run this color mask over that video to isolate only the red pixels on the screen, but oh, they kind of look like shit because tomato skin's fucking reflective for some reason. So it uh, has all these black splotches, so we do some more image processing over here to isolate them and close up those red splotches. And then you reapply that to the original image and then run blob detection over that to detect clumps of like pixels. And then you reapply the detections on that back to the original mask and then bing, bang, boom, that's it. That was all I had to do, you run that <laughs> Get the detections. Uh, what does all this mean? I don't fucking remember. The way I code is I drink lots of Monster and pass out for eight hours. It's kind of like alcoholism, but uh, less productive. By themselves, tomato detection software and spike machine are pretty cool, but you put them to you, you put them to you get a machine that extracts tomatoes from my salad or a machine that explodes tomatoes all over my salad because the spike is going 50 miles an hour. I hadn't really thought about it. I'm glossing over like a thousand or 1500 lines of code uh, to make it easier and uh, less boring. But if you really wanted to see it, uh, here it is on the screen right now. Oh, 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 time's up, oh, you missed it. Oops, it's all we. Okay, so it's not as portable as a Nintendo Switch, all right? But what do you fucking want from me? It's all put together. We got tomato detection hooked into the big metal piston spike machine. Now there's only one thing left to do. I got a salad here, but it looks like scuffed rat shit. I wonder why that is. Oh, it's because it has yucky fucking tomatoes in it. Let's fix that. Oh, we got it! Oh, 
Oh my god, yes, 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 that is, that's two out of four, that's good enough for me. It works on a cyclical detection system, so it evaluates the video, finds the tomatoes, and then sends the spike after them, then repeats the process, because after you send the spike, as you might have noticed, you don't really know how the salad's gonna look, to which you might ask, Michael, why do you need such a big spike? To which I'd say, shut the fuck up. Have you ever thought about that? Have you ever just, so it's just constantly checking for tomatoes. Right now it doesn't see anything, but if I add, if I add, if I add, I don't want to put my hand in there. If I add one, it should look for it and then send the spike. <laughs> I love this so much. It doesn't matter how many tomatoes there are either because my code sends special instruction packets containing every single detection to the printer. Slash spike, the yeah, big metal spike. Big metal business spike .com. But that's nerd shit, no one cares. This is one of the greatest inventions in human history. This is this generation's fire or running water or Minecraft. I can't keep it all for me, I have to share it with someone else. Hey Will, how's it going? You hungry? You look pretty hungry. Let me get you some cereal, all right? Let me get you some cereal. Here you go, Will, I'll get you your cereal, don't worry. Here you go. Here you go. Sound like Oh no! Oh God, it's tomatoes, that's not cereals. Don't worry, no, no, I, I can do something about this. Well, come with me, come with me and I can help you with this. Come on up into my hobbit hole. That's come on up, come on up and get those tomatoes out of your- it Smells like carbon monoxide. Yeah, yeah, it really does. All right, William Osman, you wanna, you here, fix your, uh, fix your cereal. Be really fast about it though. Oh. Yes! Fuck yes! Good! Hell yeah! Oh, you look surprised! You look surprised that something I made work. Ah! <laughs> it's so violent! 70 PSI! Be careful, be quick. The camera has some automatic white balance, but I can change it. I have on the fly, like, XY adjustment. <laughs> Don't worry, it'll adjust. <laughs> the bullshit. God, the white balance changes so fucking. <laughs> <laughs> oh god! You wanna get a salad from Costco? My machine kind of messed up the last one I had. The outfit is completely different. The yeah. This video. <laughs> it's also daytime, Will. How about you just shut your. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Hi, let me get a salad, please. Oh my. Thanks for the pizza, Michael. Fuck you. Finally, after a hard day, I can relax with a salad, tea, and a good book. Put that there, that there, and oh no, the Costco lady was trying to poison me. There are tomatoes in it. If only we had a, a toaster. No, oh, maybe it's a rice cooker. Oh no, I am half Filipino, but I don't think that'll help. If only we had some... Oh, is that a sharper image big metal piston spike machine for removing tomatoes? When did we get that? <laughs> All right, that's that's pretty good. Let's put it there. Yet they remained muffled until he instinctively picked at his ear and pulled out a log-sized wax the size of a date. Part of the ceiling opened like the wet pouch, pulsing, and it buried it. <laughs> now, Frank lived across the back street from a morbidly obese lady called Miss Montez, who pretended to be a widow widowed pole dancer but was really a PETA agent. Oh, it got it! Oh, God. I didn't even notice this is fucking reading. It got all of them. I mean, it buried some of them, so I picked some out by hand and then wiped them off and then put them back in to get removed. Thanks for watching the video. If you liked it, you subscribe or don't. It doesn't matter. We're all gonna die someday anyway. What does matter is that I finally get to eat my salad without tomatoes in it. Hope you guys have a good day. Still tastes like shit. Here's the part of the video where I asked a random rhetorical question and you get that feeling in your stomach that I'm about to transition to a sponsor segment. But you know what doesn't taste like shit? Honey. You like that? That was a smooth transition into today's sponsor. 
Honey, you know what else is a smooth transition is getting honey in your browser. Now we're gonna pretend you haven't already heard what honey is from 60 other YouTubers. What is honey? Honey is a free shopping tool that sits in your browser and scans the internet for the best promo codes when you check out online. It's really simple. Honey works on over 30,000 sites, but personally I use it on sites like these to buy, I, I don't know if you'd call it dirt cheap Chinese electronics, but it's it's dirt cheap Chinese electronics. You just gotta go to joinhoney.com slash reads, add a browser, bing, bang, boom, add that to Chrome and you're done. I'm gonna check out some 3D printers for um, not tomato killing reasons. Oh, this one could probably hold a big metal piston spike. I'm, <laughs> I mean, uh, 3D print things. So let's go to check out. And now Honey is automatically already scanning the internet for the best coupon codes on this deal. And look at that, Honey just saved us 10 bucks without us having to do anything. The average person that installs Honey saves about $30, which I think is actually pretty amazing for something you don't have to put any effort into. You just get things out from it. That's honestly my favorite part is that <laughs> you don't have to try. So there's no real reason not to get Honey today. It's free, it takes two clicks to install, and it helps support the channel. To so click the link in the description or just go to joinhoney.com slash reads. <sighs> I'm gonna build so many tomato killing machines.